Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another first play battle report. Uh, today myself and Molo are going to be trying out Gates of Antares. Uh, I've had a few of these miniatures for a while and I've not actually got around to doing anything with it. But Molo's forced me to play today. And uh, he's brought along the, what is this called? The Strike on Kara 9. Yeah, so we're going to be using the, the components from this starter set. Uh, which is the Algorin and the Concord. It's about 350 points that we're using. Uh, we Oh, maybe a little less, yeah. And uh, we we just had a game to try and familiarize ourselves with the rules. And now we're going to show you how we mess up the second game. Um, I'll be using Concord. Uh, Mola's going to be using the Algorin. And uh, we've set up a very basic table. Um, only some of the miniatures are painted. I'll eventually get around to doing some of my own. And uh, we'll get Mola around for some bigger games then. Uh, but uh, let's have a run through of the this little starter set and uh, see what it's like. Let's go. So you can see at our very basic table, I'll do some more terrain and stuff for it at a later stage, but for now we're just going for a bare bones stuff. Uh, i got these little rock spires out that they use quite a lot in their pictures. So we've got some rock spires, we've got this little ruins in the middle here, some more rock spires. The one and only fauna in this whole planet, and a very lush hill on that side. Some yeah, yeah. some craters, and uh, we're using a little bit of a desert map. In fact, that's not fauna. Fauna is animals. That's, that's true. Flora. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Shut up, I'm foreign. <laughs> um, this is my 350 points. I've got two strike teams um, with a spotted drone each. And then I've got... Uh, is this called Plasma Lance? Plasma Lance, yeah. So I've got Plasma Lance in each. Somewhere around here is another Plasma Lance. I might have actually added it in the wrong squad. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so that's my 350 points. I've also got one of these drones. A uh, little artillery drone type thing with two spotted drones. Uh, we had a couple of points spare, so we threw in another spotted drone. So that's my 350 points, or th less than 350. The, the leaders have upgraded armor as well, which I think upgrades the squads. And then what have you got, Milo? Oh, well, the, the armor's not upgraded. They just come with fancy armor, which um, gives them certain resistance bonuses. Uh, my guys are some standard elves. Algorin squads, um, AI squads, uh, they have a spot drone, um, as that just seems to be the best one to have anyway, uh, and they have um, a micro axe launcher, and then some mag guns, and each of the leaders have a mag repeater, okay. and that is the same for each squad, they're not as interesting as your one robot. Alright, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what we're doing. What mission are we doing? Just kill each uh, other? We are just going to do the standard, I think it's prepare for battle or something like that it's called it's um standard shoot each other until the other guy's dead and you get basically victory points for unity wiping out or something like essentially, that essentially yeah, yeah. But the overall aim is to try and table the other guy essentially uh there is some sort of break mechanism but as we're playing with such small armies we're probably just going to wipe each other out okay all right so let's get to deployment and then we'll come back to you with the first turn all right so this is deployment um as you can see that's what the board looks like. I've deployed mostly on the right flank here. I got my big drone, my plasma drone thing, and then I got my two strike teams just on the right flank here. Molo deployed that guy's first down there, hence the reason I moved to the right here, and then he's got two more units centralized. So, Molo, pull out the first ice. If you're not familiar, this is a very similar system to bolt action. Each unit provides you with an action dice, and we've got three each. So there's six dice in that bag, two different colors you'll pull out one which is me so it has all the different actions listed on it which is cool uh, you can run you can shoot you can do various things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim the camera at my units over here I'm gonna choose one of these units and they're gonna do an action now I'm probably not gonna be in range of much so I think one of my units is gonna do a run order and I'm going to choose this one over here. Okay, now um, you can choose to try and sprint instead of run here, which is different to bolt action. Uh, and what you do is you'll move three times your speed. However, you have to make an agility test afterwards. I think the skill is agility. I'll have a quick look. Uh, if you fail that test, then you receive a pin marker. Um, if you fail it and you get a 10, you receive an additional pin marker. So Sounds you can like get fun. Are you trying to give me pins here? That would be great if you did get some pins. I'd, I'd be happy for you. Alright, well let's try it out. It's something new. So, I'm going to make this unit do a triple run. Right, so, what is their command value? 7, isn't it? Uh, it's not their command value you need. It would be their uh, agility value, which for these guys is 5. 
So I need a five or less. Yeah. 50 50. Oh. You'll still be able to move your, the three. Yeah, but... I get pins. And I don't want pins. But all right, fine. I'm going to go for it. I rolled a seven. Okay, so. <laughs> so I get a pin. You get a pin. Which and, is fine. And instead, I just move my ten. Uh, no, no, you, you still get the full movement. Okay. Oh, well, I still get the trouble. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'll just make sure for you, but I'm pretty certain that's the case. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to move ten up. And then if you, while you're looking at that, I will... Move by the five if necessary. Yeah, it's once you finish your movement, you roll the d10, and uh, then you suffer a pin if you fail your AG. Okay. So what? They get to move the full fifteen. You get to move the full fifteen. All right. So then they'll move another five. So what I was trying to do is get them up to this wall over here for some more cover. See, in fact, you kind of caught me on the hop here as well because I was hoping to just sprint these guys around before the game started but you are now on me <laughs> so, yeah. so that's the first action done now Milo okay. will draw out another dice what have you got it's you again uh. yay all right um it also might be worth thinking as well uh the guns do have a longer range in this than they do in bolt action all right so, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna activate these guys mm -hmm. they're gonna do an advance so movement ranges of five by the way i didn't mention that when i was moving those guys that's why they could move 15 so I'm going to move these drones. They have a movement of five. Mm -hmm. So they're going to move five inches and shoot. Now hopefully, they'll still be in range of whatever I want to shoot at. So these little spotters will just shovel up to there. Oh, okay. Um, just before we do that, I just need to check the weapon that you're using there. Um, no, no, no. Plasma light support doesn't seem to say that it's a heavy weapon. So you may advance and shoot with that weapon. And then let's see, yeah, only one model, so for example, okay. in this situation it's not that imperative because I've only got one model that can shoot, um, but any model in your squad that's in range of what you're trying to shoot at, then the rest of the squad's in range as well. Uh, it counts as being in range for the thing, but it will affect um, certain modifiers and stuff like that at normal range. So I'm 35 inches away yep. from that squad down there. 35 inches away for a plasma light support puts you at... Uh, Put you at that range, yeah. <laughs> no, you're gonna put you at uh, long range, which will be a minus one, I believe. Uh, yes, minus one. Right, and so there will be some uh, minor intervening terrain as well. Yeah, accuracy eight. Right, so these oh, dudes. No. Ooh, accuracy, accuracy six. All right, so the accuracy six. It's at long range. Long range is another minus one modifier. Huh? Yeah. So it basically makes them accuracy five. And there will be intervening terrain, I believe. Yep. yep. Which okay. is another accuracy. minus. So it's accuracy four. Indeed. Yeah. Right. So that means I roll D10s. In this game we use D10s. It's got a D3, not D3, uh, three shots. Yep. Um, and it's going to need fours or less. Fours or less. So I roll them up. I've got a six, a six, and a ten. The 10 cannot be re-rolled as it's a dud shot, but you can use your uh, spotter drones to re-roll a dice each for those. So I've got two spotter drones, because I mean I get two re-rolls. Yeah. Cool. So that's right. what spotter drones do. Um, I needed fours or less, and obviously I've missed, yeah? 10 is a jam shot, but the two sixes can be re-rolled. Fours or less. I've got a five and a three, so one hit. All right, so that's not too bad. i got one hit. So it goes over to Molo. He allocates the wound if it was a one one is called a lucky shot and that i then choose to allocate it but he's going to allocate it now similar to um how it works in bow action yeah uh, okay so i'll put it on just one of my normal gun guys the one that's sort of out of place in the unit oh yeah the, the non-painted guy indeed now the gun has a strike value of three which inexplicably they don't put the minus in for this but it will minus off of my um resistance stat which is currently at seven so I'll be down to fours to survive this. No! You're dead. Okay, and I'm also pinned. All right, so he dies and he gets one of those. Yep. And then he also gets one of these. Pin markers are basically like suppression. So the unit's taken some fire and uh, in subsequent turns when he wants to activate with them, you'll have to take an order test to shake off the pins. Yeah, it's also worth noting that I could have... Um, taken a, a reaction in order to try and run to cover there because of the distance between us 
Uh, but I chose not to as I want to move the squad on my own, but that might not what happen now. Okay, so make the pin test now. Okay. okay. Uh, and it is fine at the moment. All right, so draw the next dice. Okay. Red, you. me. <clears throat> as you can see, the, the way that actions come out is randomly. Um, so the more dice you have in the bag, the more options you have for actions. Because you don't have to, you don't allocate like this dice is always there. It's, it's just it adds a dice to the pool, so you can activate the units you want to activate sooner or later, depending on what your strategy is. Hmm. Right, I am going to. Um, hmm. now, of course, if he does an action on the unit that I fired on, which I'm going to move a little closer to show you, then he has to take an order test because he's got a pin marker on them, mm -hmm. and uh, if he passes, he removes a pin marker. Yeah. And, um, in fact, that's what I'll do. Uh, in fact, even if I fail now, I'd remove the pin marker, but I go down instead. Ah, okay, so that's different. Okay. So these guys are going to... Uh, I worry about hitting anything. I am going to um, run with these guys. Okay. There we go. So we will take my test, first of all. So what's their command, or whatever it is? Uh... Uh, their command... Is for an Algorian Trooper is um, Command 8. 8. They're at a minus 1 currently because of the pit marker. So 7 or less. A 1. Okay, so I removed that pit marker and an additional pit marker. Because a 1 is a really a resolute order, oh. but uh, you get to remove additional pin, but he doesn't have any more. Okay. So. so I'll take the dungs. Okay, and I'm going to try and sprint here as well. Alright. Okay, so 15. I'll move up towards this cover here. So you move 10 and then do your order to run the extra 5, is that oh, right? Oh, no, no, you, you move full distance and you see if you're exhausted afterwards. Oh, I see, okay, there you are. Okay, so, there you go. Well, it's getting pretty close quarters now. It is. Just on the other side of the friggin' ruins. Does mean I won't get to shoot at you with these guys, though, this turn, as they ran up the board. And their little wheelie bots can go, woo, 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 and their dead body. No, you can leave the dead body where they were. Oh, okay. <laughs> dead bodies don't get dragged along on sleds. <laughs> Okay, I can now react, uh, not react, I can, I now have to take my exhaustion test, and I am knackered, yep. so that's in my account comes, comes back. back. <laughs> there we go. Well, it was almost a 10, otherwise you would have got two there. Okay, next guy, me again. Just move your dice up. Right. Instead of a dead body, you can move your F unit. <laughs> okay, so, um... Painted hmm. unit or non-painted unit? I think we'll go with the painted unit. And it will. Oh. I don't think it's going to be able to see anybody if it advances, so it is also going to run. Okay. Let's give the scope of the battlefield as it looks. See okay. what he's seeing. And this one is not going to sprint, it's just going to do a standard run to cluster around this cover here, I think. Okay. So, 10 inches. Yeah, that should be fine. Go. Get them up there. So no need for fatigue tests on them. There we go. And there's one dice left in the bag. So one for you, one for me. Who are you going to draw out? I bet it's going to be yours. Uh, it, it was. <laughs> okay. Well, unsurprisingly, these guys are also going to uh, run. The unit that's far out of position. Yeah, and they are going to try and sprint. let grab some nice cover with them. Ish, maybe. Maybe grab some nice cover. Probably not. Okay. So they dash all the way up to there. Like big guys. Okay. There we are. Rah. They have arrived at their destination. And they need to take an exhaustion test now as well. And they got a nine as well. <laughs> Pin marker for them. <laughs> it's all going wrong. They're not very fit, Molo. You should take them to the basic training again. <laughs> Right, so obviously the last dice is mine. I, I won't need to, they're going to be dead. That's fine. <laughs> okay. And this unit is what I'm thinking about now. So I would like as much as possible to maybe draw, draw a line of sight to someone to have some shots at them. So I think I'm going to do an advance order with them. And I'm hopefully going to try and get some shots on that unit that ran, that sprinted up there. As so, it sprinted, um, you will minus one, a minus one for that as well. Yeah, because I got I got some blurred vision going on. They're so fast! <laughs> oh my god! They're also miles away. You might be at long range, uh, extreme range here as well. It's fine, man. Any any shots better than no shot? Okay. All right. So can I see them? So 
we're looking at. I can see a few of the models, but there's some really heavy cover of intervening models in the way as well. I'm not even sure if that's totally legal, but let's uh, have a look. The, the squads do have the one inch rule like before. Um, I believe if more than half the squad is in cover, you get cover for it. Um, so the intervening terrain will be minus one. And then if um, this area around here gives them any cover... I'm shooting should... at these guys. Oh, okay. That probably won't be extreme range. I'm not sure. I don't think you can see them because you've got to cut through your squad. To well, this it. is what I was saying. I'm not sure if it's actually a legal shot. No, I don't think you So got... maybe I will have to shoot at those guys. Okay. Uh, so that guy is 33 inches away. 33 inches and you will be firing your um, plasma carbines. Now you can fire at single shot, which won't be able to hit at that range at all. So that's probably not an option. Or you can fire <laughs> at the, um, sorry, that was scatter shot. Or you can fire at single shot, which uh, goes up to 50 inches, but you will be at extreme range. Okay. So let's count the minuses. Yay. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got five guys that can shoot. A leader, a heavy weapon, and three normal plasma gun guys. So I've got five dice. Yep. The leader will be blue, and the heavy weapon will be black. Uh, now we work out the ranges. So I'm okay. normally on five plus to hit, or five yeah. or lower. Indeed, you have no pins, no. but you are at extreme range, which is minus two. So that'll be threes. Intervening uh, low obstacles, which is minus one. So it's twos. And then uh, intervening light terrain, another minus two. I can't do that. Okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ones will hit. Ones All right. are a lucky shot. Look, let's go there. Uh, I'm just going to go for ones. And I get one re-roll. Yeah, I got two ones. Oh my god! Including I'm, gonna, I'm now going to check that roll. <laughs> okay. And just while he's looking at that, I'm going to re-roll the leader's dice. He missed as well. Wow. Why? Okay. Uh... <laughs> so what we're thinking here is like fives normally. Extreme range is minus two, so that's threes. Intervening terrain is four. Uh, puts it down to. My intervening terrain is minus one, so we we're probably looking at about ones anyway. Okay, yeah. Um, roll of one is a lucky hit, so you hit, and um, I get to allocate them. You do, yes. All right, so the black heavy weapon one is going to go on your leader. Oh my god, it's all gone wrong. And the other one is going to go on your heavy weapon. On my heavy weapon. Okay. Yes. So go on then, roll them. Black one is minus three, I think. Because uh, that's the that, heavy weapon guy. The heavy weapon guy, yeah. He has a, um, let's say what weapon he has. He has the uh, plasma lance. Uh, oh no, sorry. Minus four. Minus four. Not <laughs> looking good. <laughs> the heavy weapon. Oh, your armor is? Uh, my armor is seven. So Resistance. minus four is three or less. Just for him. And oh, he's but... definitely dead. And uh, so my leader, oh no. And oh, the other guy is no. also dead as well, is it? Seven. Yeah, because yeah, the eight is obviously failed anyway. So there's some dead bodies for you. <laughs> Holy cow, that went badly. I thought they were well out of range. <laughs> but alas. Okay, and that's a pin. Yep, uh, so in addition to that other pin. Okay, and now and we the, have to make do the leader give, Does the leader give you minus one like it does in bolt action when you take leadership tests? Um, I... I don't believe so. I'll check the break test. I think it works a little differently, but I'm not sure. While he's checking that up, we're going to pause here for a second. Yep. All right, so we can't, we can't find it anywhere in the book. So no. if you do know, um, have a look. T comment below, because obviously this is just us toying with the rules to begin with. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be making some mistakes here, and we appreciate you guys just commenting below what we did wrong and what we should be doing. But he's going to take a leadership test now. Yep. Um, he's got two pins on this, a little minus... From your command, your command of seven, is it? Uh, command of eight. These eight. Guys have. Yep. So six or less. I'm not sure if this would be five. Ugh, ten is foobar. Oh, that's that's bad. Um, <laughs> okay, break test. So you know, uh, breaks. Uh... So I'm going to show you the view I oh, had. Oh my word! If that might actually wipe them out. <laughs> so that's the view I had of shooting his unit. So there's little red dudes at the back there. With the pins up. Uh, we're not sure if, obviously, having the leader assassinated would make any difference to the command test. but Not, not to the 10. No, but <laughs> when you're fine. on the 10, it's, not, it's pretty bad. So 1 is automatically you would pass no matter what. Yeah. Um, okay. But 10, 
it's bad things happen. And, it is. Uh, All the bad things are about to happen to these guys. Um, okay, so line of sight, occupied terrain. This, this. So yeah, ten is pretty friggin' bad. That yeah. unit has just shat themselves Turns and ran out away. They really didn't like being shot at. Yeah. So, so they are removed from the game and indeed. taken out. Wow, good start for the Algorans. And uh, there's my victory dice. Woohoo! I'll put that yeah in my victory pile. And that ends the round with wow. some brutality. So what happens now, this is the end of the round, we uh, remove any of the action dice that were on remaining units. Yep. They go back in the bag. Here you go, Molo. Mm -hmm. And there's any um, units that were down now get to test, right? They, they would have to test um, to get their dice put back into the bag. But we don't have any of those, nope. so that's the end of round one. And so, you could also leave people in ambush if they were in ambush, but we don't have any of those either. So. Does that have the rule like in the second bolt action second edition where if a unit's down, you can choose to leave them down? Um, I believe so, yeah. Um, when you would take them up, instead of testing, you can just leave them okay. cowering like women. So nice and simple. Uh, Milo rolls, uh, pulls out the dice and see what comes up. I've got obviously oh, one. great. Green, yay. I've got actually, I was just about to say, because he's lost that unit, that's an, a one less dice in the bag for him. So it's three dice to two in there now. Um, and obviously that gives me a bit of a benefit. <laughs> um, so what am I going to do? i got obviously all three options. This is why I like this bolt action system. I call it the bolt action system. I don't know what else to call it. But I've got all three units all ready to activate. And uh, I've got my activation die. Obviously there's some considerations now. Um... So, I think I'm going to activate this unit in the front here. And they are going to do an advance. And what they're going to do, is they're going to advance up to that wall, to give them some better cover. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to fire on that unit just opposite them. These ones or those ones? Those ones. Alright, so, now... Molo hasn't actually activated them yet. No, so I can react. Yeah, they're within 20 inches, so he could do a return fire action. Uh, in fact, that is exactly what I'm going to do with these guys. So, um, okay. I first I have to test to see if I can. Yep. Which <sighs> is a test on my initiative, which for these chaps is seven. So minus one because of the pin. Yep. So six or less. He's failed again. Okay, so it's not detrimental to fail on this. They simply just don't get to do the shoot back. Yeah, they don't lose the action. No, that would be horrible. Yeah, so basically they're just going to hunker down for a minute or two mm -hmm. while I fire on them. So same as before, I've got five dice. I'm going to do the single shot actions again. Mm -hmm. um, and it's my shoot value is five. Yep. Um, and I am shooting at units behind cover. Yep. So what is that, minus two or minus one? Now that would be minus two. But I, I don't think there's enough intervening yeah. to really. So threes or less. And I've got... Oh my god, I've got three tens. Oh, thank goodness for that. So those can't be re-rolled. I've nope. got one hit with the plasma. Oh, right. That'll be the one yeah. that hits. And I've got one spot of drone, so I'm going to re-roll this five. I need a three. Woohoo. Okay. So I've got two hits. Two hits. Unfortunately, no lucky shots. So nope. Milo I gets to act. Um... Do have um, cover from the wall here, so I will get a bonus to my resist. So we are resisting on uh, nines at the moment. Uh, except for the black dice, which is going to be fives. But Fives? Yes, because it's four. Yeah. Oh my word. So you're just taking two normal guys, yeah? Uh, oh yeah, I got to allocate. So it will be on my normal guys. Okay. Probably so the black ones on fives and the red ones on sevens. Yep. I oh, know the red one would have been on. The red one's oh, minus yeah. two, yeah. Yeah, so it would have been on eights, but that's fine. Okay. So uh, the black one is dead. He is vaporized. Oh, you got some stuff there. Yeah. So it's another pin marker. Even though I've got two hits, it's still only one pin marker. And the other guy is fine. He yeah. don't mind being shot at at all. Okay, so now I need to test to prevent myself from going down. Another failure coming up. No, he's yeah. alright. So it's minus two now, obviously. Yeah. But Alright, draw okay. another dice out. So not too bad. I've got another casualty and another pin. Finally. Um, there's not a great deal I can do here, though. Uh, well, obviously, he's only got the two options you can see in screen now. The mm. one that's under fire, or the one that's fresh. 
Yeah, these these aren't good options, if I'm honest with you. Okay, these guys are going to advance, and then they're going to try and shoot at their friends over there who have already activated. Their friends? Yeah, we're all friends here. <laughs> Alright, so advance and uh, do hickey. Right, let us advance. Okay, so we go there. There, 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 there. Okay, and the drone. Okay, uh, so I can shoot at you. I'm going to suffer a lot of minuses here, though. Yeah, okay. this, there's an intervening terrain. I'm behind cover. Ooh, uh, can I have a few dice, please? Yep. Yeah. There's okay. quite a lot of. So we have my leader with a mag carbine. We have uh, the squad troopers there. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's that one. Who have each their own uh, mag rifle, I think it's called, or the bigger mag gun. And um, then we have the heavy weapon, which is a micro X launcher, which we'll be using for the just straight E shooty thing. It's lots of big words. Indeed. Right, so are you on fives normally? Fives normally, um, I believe so for these guys, yeah. Accuracy five, minus one for the intervening drain, and minus two for the cover, so minus twos. three, yes. Yeah, so ones and twos is what you're looking for. Uh -huh. Ones will be pretty good, obviously, because you can then allocate them. Indeed. Okay. And that will be one hit so far that I can see. And I will use my drone to reroll a heavy weapon. Yeah, of course. Misses. Okay. So one hit, and I allocate that to anyone I want to. Okay, and this is a minus one because it's their standard rifle. And because I got cover, I get plus plus extra two. resistance bonuses. Yep. Isn't it? So my armor is normally sevens. Is that right? Mm -hmm. it goes up to nines. Yeah. And then it'll go down to eights because of your minus one. Indeed, and you will get a pin as well for later. <laughs> and I rolled a ten. Oh, he did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take that one. So first casualty for the Concord. Guy gets splattered. Indeed, and take a test to see if your guys fall. I'm gonna roll these. this dice again because it can't possibly come up with another ten. Yeah, I'm alright. Okay, there we go. Next dice. So because that unit's already activated, if they had failed this, because when you fail that that uh, pin test, you go down. They would just change their advance to a down. Yeah. However, if they hadn't activated and you hadn't reacted, it would take the bag uh, the dice out of the bag. Bag. Yeah. Which right. is which would be bad. So. It's got to be one of mine, I reckon. Oh, no, it's yours. He's got the oh, leader and the oh, fire. Okay. Okay. And that so, means my last two dice are in the bag. Yeah, uh, these guys are going to try and fire at the heavy weapon drone. I think they're just going to go down, man. <laughs> go down. I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm mm. sure it'll be great. So uh, I, I don't like don't like the idea of firing at that drone. So but, it's just a straight-out fire, yeah? <clears throat> yep. So, so uh, morale just got, first. Oh, yeah, morale test first. Minus so, two. So what are you looking at? Fives? Uh-huh. Oh, fine. yeah, they're, they're good. So that removes a pin, doesn't it? Yep. So that will be a little more accurate as well. Um, and I will advance to reorganize them just so that I can get them into... Yeah. So they can see him better. There we go. Oh, the big bad wolf. He is the big bad wolf. <laughs> so there's three guys left there. Three guys left there. Yep, they will be firing their um, fancy pants. Uh, not that fancy at all. They will be firing their mag guns for that guy. The heavy weapon, the uh, micro X launcher, I believe it's called. Um, yep. I love the look of this. That they're firing through their little arch at this drone coming up on them. And unfortunately, my leader has that carbine, which I suspect is going to do nothing to him. And he might not be in range as well. We better check the range on this. You're probably within 20, I reckon. If I'm within 20, it should be fine. No. Okay, so... Yeah, you're within 20. Within 20. Okay. So that means I can do a reaction shot. It does, yeah. That's a shame. And I think I might just well do that, because I was going to fire on them anyway. Actually, you know, you know I'm not going to do that, because I want to move... I want to move to cover and then fire. Okay. So I'm not going to fire. Return fire, if you like. Okay, so three different shots. Minus <laughs> one to the armor. Minus... I think a lot more than that. Um, Micro X is um, on Overlord ammo, so that was the minus three. Ooh. And Earthquake. Minus diddly. Alright, so you have fives normally, yep. fours because of a pin, and threes for intervening terrain. Indeed. So three or less. 
Okay. That's nothing. Nothing. But you do have a drone still, so you yep. can re-roll so the black we'll one. re-roll a heavy weapon. Hits. Oh, that's a hit. Okay, but so it's not um, uh, a lucky hit. Nope. So I can allocate it to anything. I'm just going to allocate it to one of my spotter drones, which will immediately destroy it, won't it? Yeah. Okay. yeah just gone. Because they don't have any armor. But if I take it on this, it has to take an armor check. And that's... Oh, quite... hold on. Oh, no. Is you... Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Carry on. Okay. So I'm just going to go... One of these die. I'm okay with that. Unfortunate. And I'll replace it with this little destroyed marker. All right, so that means Molo's basically done his actions because there's only two dice left in the bag, yeah. and I've got two guys left to activate. So it gives me the freedom to fire on you with impunity. Oh dear. All right, so first oh, thing. Uh, he did get hit. Make a test. Oh yes, I need a pin marker as well. So I've added the pin marker. What's his morale? Eight or less? Did you say? Uh, this guy's morale is. Oh um, shit! I've rolled a ten. Oh, that's br about to go down. Oh, that, that might kill you. Um, Is it dead? I can't remember. I think you didn't suffer damage, so potentially not, but yeah, that, that might have... I did suffer damage. One of the drones died. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> so, my drone goes, Uh-oh, one of my little babies died. I've rolled a 10, which apparently means... Oh. See, if you had taken that on the robot, he wouldn't have taken damage, which I believe means that they wouldn't have just left. Oh. Huh. Well, you live and learn. There you go. Have a victory point. Yay. Okay. So, that leaves me with a more easier choice. I'm going to activate these guys over here. They're going to do another advance. And they're going to advance six inches. Or five inches, rather. And fire on those units that just killed my drone. Now, if somebody can check that for us as well. Um, as that was a drone... It Potentially, it may not have been, may not have had to have taken a break test, but I just couldn't find the rules in the, the little rule book you get from Carrot Nine. Oh yeah, might as well one of the tiny little books. Okay, um, so let's see what the range is. Am I within twenty? I am not within twenty. Mm -hmm. So I'm at long range, is it, or something it's like that? Long range, not extreme, just long, just the minus one. Okay, so I've got same as before. Three normal guys, mm -hmm. a leader, and one heavy weapon guy. Mm -hmm. And they are on fives normally, mm -hmm. um, fours because of long range. Yep, threes intervening, and ah. Uh, so just lucky hits then. Well, well let's go for it. Oh, uh, there's oh. two at least, and I got one reroll. No. There's something wrong with these dice. <laughs> <laughs> so both of them are going to go on. You have to share them out as evenly as you can. Fine, I'll just leave your leader alive. The other two can take it. Okay, um, right. So we will get plus two to the armor, and uh, you were firing at their their heavy shot, weren't you? Yeah, so it's shot. minus two. Okay, so just the same as usual then. One uh, dead. One has super survived. I don't know if that's lucky armor, but um, <laughs> the other guy is, is no more. Which happened to be the not heavy weapon guy. I probably should have rolled separate dice there. Shh. Fact, I'm um, pretty sure I'm supposed to. That's fine. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I thought okay. they were just two normal guys. All right, okay. so morale check for them. At minus, minus two. two. They did. Oh my god. <laughs> we're just rolling tens like crazy here. <laughs> tens and ones. <laughs> All right, so that's another unit yep. dead. Give me okay. my victory point die. Yeah. All so, right. As I said. Didn't think we would make it to round six. <laughs> so that's the end of round two. Yes. Right. Dice go back in the bag. Here you go. Here's my two to go with your one. <laughs> and this is what's left. My two Concord units at the back here. And that one Algorand unit over there. And it's them to go. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right. Oh, this isn't necessarily good. Um, maybe I should just go down and hope I survive all the way through, but <laughs> no, they are going to advance to try and get some better cover, perhaps. Surely they want to move into that little ruin section over there, in front they of them. They do, but I think it's too tall, so I think they're going to have to cluster around here instead. Fair enough. It should still be fine. Okay, so... Advance, advance, my proud... Oh, God, I probably should have measured some ranges there. I'm pretty sure that is right. Oh, yeah. Go, Al Gordon. 
Mm-hmm. That's quite interesting because your unit came out first, and the unit that's closest to it, I, I can actually react if you fire on me. You can, you can indeed. And I think I might. I thought you might. There we go. Okay. Um, right, so right. I need to take a leash of test, right? Uh, yes, yes. And then. So they're minus one because they've got a pin marker. Yeah. So I'm going to roll a 10 now, probably. No, they're good. So they have reacted. That takes the pin marker away, right? Because they passed them. Does that do that? I, I'll check, but I don't think so for the. Um, the one slow action, the reaction. So this is this is going to be done simultaneously. We're basically having a firefight reaction. Mm-hmm. I've got four guys left, of which one is a a heavy weapon guy, one is my leader, and two normal guys. I'm on fives normally, fours possibly because I still have this pin, mm-hmm. and um, threes for the terrain. So I got one hit. I can re-roll one dice, which fails. So I only got one hit. That's poor. Well, so you lose the thing, so one hit. Okay, and against my unit, which has, um, it's still intact. So three normal guns, a carbine, and a heavy weapon. Okay. And I'm probably going to get a minus two, because a lot of you are in that area. So threes as well. Okay, so a heavy weapon <laughs> is... A lucky shot. And one other lucky shot. And there's a two that hits as well. Two that hits, a miss. And then re-roll. Another two that hits. That's that four That was pretty hits. good. Okay. Um, your heavy weapon. Down here at the back. Can take the biggest damage. Um, oh, you're also... Oh, no, you're not within 10 inches, so your armor wouldn't have dropped yet anyway, so... Uh, your leader, who's in there somewhere. In the middle one, yeah. Middle, okay. We'll take the other one. And then there's two hits left, which it'll have to go on the other two. Okay. Uh, yeah. so, because you have to spread them out evenly, mm-hmm. so each one guy has to take at least one. Okay. Like I have the drone, which I could give to... Maybe I should, because they've already fired this turn. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give this guy the drone. So the drone dies. There. Mm-hmm. Which, we'll get one of these. And then the leader is minus one. Minus one. He's dead. <laughs> um, this guy is minus one. He's okay. And this guy is minus three. Minus three. So it's seven or less, so four or less. He's oh. good. Oh, I forgot about the terrain bonus as well, but even still. Okay. So you take another pin or is... Oh, yeah. I need to take another pin. And, and then need you to need test. to make one save. Oh, I, oh yes, of course. I am yes, fine. fine. Alright, so I am seven or less, is that right? Come on. Uh, e- minus two. Minus two, so. F- is it seven? Uh, no, eight is your eight. standard command. Yeah, so. good. Okay. And uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, and then there's only me who have a dice left. Indeed. Which will activate this unit, and they will do an advance. Oh, well, rally, apparently. <laughs> yeah, imagine playing like that. That would be interesting. Just roll the command. All right, uh, they're going to move to there. I'm just going for it. I can smell the blood in the water. That's right. They, do, uh, they have a pin marker, don't they? Uh, they do not, they are. Because I just hit them. Oh, they do now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, these guys, five single shots. Uh, fives normally. Um, I'm probably within... T- am I within 20? Let's have a look. Yes, I'm within 20. Okay. So it's fives normally, and then the cover is minus two. Mm-hmm. So threes. So there's one lucky shot, and I'll re-roll my heavy weapon, which missed again. Okay, so just the one shot. Yep, which is which, enough to pin again. Yep, which is and I can allocate cool. it to your heavy weapon. Okay, right. So we'll roll for him. Seven minus two. Minus two. I think he's fine because of the cover. Because right, you got up to nines, only. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Well, and that is the end of turn two. I shall have my the three, revenge. Three, rather. Indeed. So, remove the dice. Three more turns to go, then. With my one squad of heroes. I might as well just put this camera like this, because this is the only <laughs> units left. I'm going to sprint over there now. <laughs> Let's see who goes first. Come on, Red. Oh, yeah. come on, you yeah. cheating bias. <laughs> so I can move into the open to get a better shot on that 
nearly dead squad, uh, well, into lighter cover. Or I can stay there and get a good shot on the um, the advancing guard. I'm going to shoot those guys, I think. All right. And I feel like that does mean you can return fire with like a million more guns. And have, No, those guys have less pins. I'm going to advance and shoot at those guys. Okay. So as long as I can pass my pin test. Yeah. <laughs> so you need five or less to do that. 50-50. Oh, I've got to roll it first. There we go. Yep, they yeah. pass. So they remove one of the pins. Okay. You'll need that. Okay, and they're all going to run to cover. Ish. Run into the foliage. The f floral <laughs> fauna. Indeed. <laughs> the florona. Oh, okay. Um, Okay, so three standard guns. <clears throat> These guys are going to return fire. So, and check the range. You oh, um, uh, just in case you might be close enough. You're firing at them, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I passed. No, I am not close enough to get you down to your lower armor stat as well. I passed my thing test. Oh, okay. So I can return fire. Oh dear. Right. <clears throat> okay. Where are we? Two, three normal guns. But I'm still not sure if. I remove pin markers for... No, you don't, you don't. Was, or it didn't say in the thing, so... And um, where's the black dice gone? Oh, in my hand. Oh, okay, can I grab that back? You can have that in a moment. Okay. So, what are we looking at here? Uh, minus one? Yep. That's it. Yeah. So, fours or less? Okay, so... That ten definitely misses. There's a one hit so far that I can see. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Which is the heavy weapon, Which ironically. Is the heavy weapon, and I will reroll one of the minus. Okay. Hits. So two. Two hits. So, heavy weapon guy on this guy in the front here. Mm -hmm. He's fine. And this one here. He's fine. Oh. <laughs> but I do get another pin marker yeah. for that. Okay, and so, so want the different colour dice? Yeah, just black one would be fine. <laughs> right, so I'm on uh, fives. Minus two is threes. And... I think that's it. I think that's light cover. Minus one. <coughs> I don't have a reroll. So that's it. I missed. Yay, no more pin <laughs> markers. So make your test at uh, minus two. Minus three, because I should get another one. Uh, oh, okay. Minus three. <coughs> uh, they go down. Yay. Let's take it out of the bag. Okay. Oh, it should have come out of the bag when they reacted anyway, so. Okay, um, down they go. That's a really <coughs> weird mechanic. Um, then my, yeah, my last units, which will be this unit here, and they will advance. Because I want to get, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to advance. So, possibly a little template. Okay. I want to get a slightly better shot, so I don't have so much intervening terrain. So, they're going to move like so. And they will fire on that squad. Pass me a red and a blue, please. So, uh, fives. So gone down to fours. Yeah. Oh. So I've got two hits there, and I'll re-roll this. No. Good. God damn it. So, two you choose on who it goes. Uh, two standard weapons, I think. Minus two. Okay, so they are both dead. <laughs> damn it. And another pin marker for them as well. Wow. Have maybe, two dead bodies. Maybe have to ride this all the way through. Um, wow. Okay, so I need to take a test. With minus two. What did you roll? Six. So that's minus eight. two. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Alright, and that's the end of the round. Okay. Right, so the only thing that changes here now is that obviously these dice go back into the bag, but these guys have to test mm -hmm. to see if they're either going to stay down or go have an action next turn. So they are command eight, minus three is five. They pass. Oh, man. So one of these go away. You can have that one. Oh, thanks. And this goes back in there. Do they have two dice? Two oh, pins here. Um, That's why I gave you that one. Two. Oh, right, okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Back to the dice rolling dice. Oh, oh, was this like turn five or something? Uh, ten. Yeah, I think it might be turn five. We might come on. You've got to draw mine out first this time. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. This unit activates. I might as well advance because there's no 
negative to not moving and shooting and uh, I can get a more clearer shot so off they go again come join their comrades who are hunkering down by this wall on the wrong side and they will fire on you you I can will not react okay so I think it's Ah, oh, no, you're going to wipe me out. I'm going to react. I'm going to see if I can stand and shoot. Okay, so minus two. Roll one dice. Oh, no, because then I won't lose. No, shoot me, shoot me. Okay, fight. Um, so that's one, two, three hits so far, and I will re-roll this one. No. So three hits. One of them's minus four. <laughs> okay, uh, there's three different guys, so the minus four will go on my not heavy weapon. Uh, will. Oh, I will. in fact, there we go. Blue is on my leader, black is uh, the minus big one, uh, who will go on just the standard guy, and the other one is on uh, my heavy weapon. Okay, so blue, my leader, has survived. But everyone else died. Yeah, everybody else died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor guys. There you go, have another two dead guys. And take your man alone leadership test here. He's Eight. dead. Gone. Yeah, there we go. And the Concord have survived. Okay. Oh. And there we go. That is a, a quick full playthrough of Gates of Antares. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty friggin' brutal. Um, a couple of things that I noticed were playing this that's different to bolt action is obviously there's a lot more finicky rules to do with the pins. You know, when you can take them, when you yeah. can't take them. You take a lot more pins in this one, which is cool because it's kind of a sci fi pew pew game. So. Combat, we didn't get to show you combat in this game, but combat is quite aggressive as well. Uh, one of the reasons why I never wanted to charge in, because these guys could have done a triple charge into your guys over there. But that would have meant you could have defensive fired me, and then we fire at each other before we get into combat, and then we get to combat. Um, you also have a choice um, for a reaction to try and run away to get away from combat as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I thought yeah, it would be more prudent just to lay the lead on you. Um, oh, I still have my drone. I could have taken one on that. Oh, well. They would have still failed there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two guys would have run away then instead of one. Indeed. <laughs> um, what did you think? What's your thoughts? I, I quite like it. I, it's, it seems quite fast paced compared to bar action. It's it's kind of hard to tell at this level. I think we'd probably need to get a few more bits and bobs yeah. for either side. I mean, this is a very really small game. Through. And I'm, I'm fit. There's a lot of rules that I'm kind of grey on because this. Get the big book if you're going to play the game. <laughs> this this isn't great. <laughs> well, luckily the the beautiful viewers will be adding some comments down below Indeed. on all the rubbish that we just did. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were just making up a game really. There was there was nothing there. Um yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with how that turned out. I love bolt action as a basic system. So this uh, command dice obviously provides a lot of variations. Miniature wise, I think they're okay. You know, the one thing about the sci-fi setting, I know you, you prefer the sci-fi setting, sci setting as to for the World War II setting. I actually, I like both, um, but from a miniature standpoint, I think I prefer the, the World War II setting because, I don't know, none of the miniatures inspire me that much. Um, I'm probably going to do a Concord Force when I get around to building mine and painting mine. Are you going to focus a little more on the Algorand? I think um, I'm just going to go with Algorand. I'll keep my Concord figures for sort of demo games, purposes. I won't be adding any more to them. I yeah. don't think. I think I'll I'll probably flesh out my Concord then, because mm. um, I got the, I've got that starter box, and uh, I've also got a little sort of a promo box as well, which has a bigger dropship type thing in, like a big spaceship <laughs> skimmer thing. Uh, I'll get the lingo later. Yeah, this was just a, a quick first play for us to see what the rules are like and you know how it plays and how it flows. Obviously, you can comment below and give us some more tips. And uh, we shall see you on the next play. Indeed. Thanks a lot for see that, Milo. Soon. No problem. All right.